What's up, Soyo brothers and Soyo sisters? Soyo fam. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been about three weeks since we purchased two packages of bees. All right, so we have them in single story deeps. Do I need to put this close to the queen or? No, just put it somewhere. Yeah. Flip them over, put them in. And we're gonna go ahead and do an inspection and check them and see where they at. They look pretty busy. But it is a nice day, so hopefully um, we got some good progress. But we're going to bring y'all along with us so y'all can see exactly what they look like three weeks in. I'm going to go ahead and crack this thing open and see what they look like. Get a little bit. Top. Good. All right. Ooh. It's a lot going on here. So guys, as y'all can see, there's a lot of bees in here. So what I'm seeing is uh, one, two, three, two, three, four, at least five frames completely full. But some of them don't look like a whole lot has been done to. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and check it out, see what they're doing in here, what kind of progress being made. My main concern, being that I'm new, is leaving them unattended too long, them running out of space, and them swarming on us. So I definitely don't want that to happen. So we got two frames here that, you know, they haven't really touched much. Nothing going on on that side. And as you can see on this side, they're starting to draw it out a little bit. So, they have a little bit of nectar in, inside. So this was an empty frame and they have built out this frame with comb, some cap, some not. This is the frame that I um I take the queen to when we um when I installed this package. Right, right. right. And so the way she installed it, well, we weren't able to put a foundation in it. So they already built it out. Hmm. All right, so this was a frame. And they are doing a pretty good job of building it out. One side completely, the other side not so much. You can see the eggs in them. Oh the yeah, eggs. oh yeah. So this frame do is full with larvae, eggs in all stages. <laughs> Good eye, I did not see that. Both sides? No, just one. So guys, as y'all can see, these bees are not um, hostile at all. Like, they're pretty calm. Like, they're not bothering us in the least. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this frame is completely covered with brood. There's some larvae 
inside. So let me see, make sure y'all get a good view of that. Completely covered. And ooh, the other side is completely covered also. So as y'all can see, this queen appears to be doing her thing. another frame that's completely covered with brood cat brood and some new we do also have some uh, pollen and nectar in the corners wow okay so here she go this is the queen I need to be careful with this ring because <laughs> it don't have foundation. So she did come on the other side and that's her down there in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and put this back because I don't want nothing to happen to it. So Queenie, continue to do your thing. is another frame that's pretty brooded up and this is another one oh, that they already built out and it does have eggs in the, in the cells So just looking at what we have so far guys it looked like um i'm gonna need to be adding another box here very shortly because once them cat brood hatch this box will be loaded yes so i'm real impressed with the queen in this particular box so, these are Kona queens. We got Kona. Yes, Kona queens. Being new, I can't tell you uh, how good or bad this is. It looks pretty good to me. That look like a lot of brood. And I think it will fill this box up really fast really soon <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put this back together and we're gonna check this other hive real quick on our other package just looking at the traffic on the outside of both of the hives i don't expect the other one to be as busy as successful as this one but we will see all right guys so this is the second hive all right. So they look like they are building up on the lid just a little bit. And yeah, this um hive don't look nearly as big as the other one. But we're gonna check them out real quick, okay? So we do have an empty frame. This one is also pretty empty. 
and remember guys this is about three weeks well in about two days it'll be three weeks since we installed this and all i'm seeing right now is maybe three maybe four frames of bees okay so this side has nothing going on and this one has brood mm -hmm. but it looked like it actually had honey in it before and they took it out and added brood to it so all right so this one got some weight to it so i'm assuming it's food no no issue okay so as you can see there's a frame of brood here like a lot of it and got cat honey in the corners and the queen you said she was over here where is she at let's see Mm -hmm. right here. Okay, so there's the queen. Is she on the corner? Uh, she's trying to escape this sun. But yeah, she got brood on both sides, capped and uncapped. It's a ton of pollen on this particular frame. So where is she at? So I can make sure. Okay. I'm going to put her on back. So it is um, strange how they can have both. Man, that's a lot of brood too. A whole frame full with some nectar or honey. This one, about two frames or so and brood so far. And it don't look like there's a whole lot more going on. So, they built this frame out pretty far for whatever reason. There's nothing on that one. So did I check a board this or something? Because why does this frame, why is this one? Oh, this is an older frame. <laughs> so that's about all going on in this one, which is weird. Being that the other one is so busy, the rest of these frames are pretty empty. And it looks like my very first hive, while there's a tiny bit of activity, is probably a dead out. But we're gonna take a quick look at it which in I'm not expecting it to be no good because they superseded my queen and she never came back uh, it's a little bit of bees I'm not sure how exactly they're holding on But every time I look, I'm hopeful that maybe I start seeing a sign that the queen came back, but 
It's been well over three weeks since she left and I haven't seen her yet. So I have pretty much lost hope. So the only thing that we got in here, you don't see anything in there, is is the bees that's on the top frame and I don't even think it's a good frame or two of bees in here so pretty much letting it do what it's doing yeah so I'm eventually probably go ahead and um stick these little bit of bees in a nuke So there's nothing, there's really no resources, there's no nectar, I mean no pollen, no nothing in here, so. And I'm sad because these were extra gentle bees. I'm sure they're a little testy right now because they don't have a queen. All right, fam. So, three weeks in, you know, um, as far as I know, they're doing pretty well. You're comparing one to the other, um, one is doing good and one is not. But then, you know, neither one of them could be doing good, right? Yeah, and give them time. <laughs> yeah. You know, they they working on it. Yeah. They working. I think they did a lot for three weeks, and um, I'm expecting maybe in another week or so they're going to explode because once all that brood hatch. I think it's gonna be on, right? Ooh, baby. <laughs> so we're gonna keep an eye on them, and um, I'm uh possibly um do a split, and then um, maybe put a box on top of one. So the the strongest one, I'm probably gonna do a split before I actually do uh, put another box on. I'm not sure yet. I'm still trying to work that out, but you know, I want to grow my bees this year and um possibly worry about the honey more next year but we're gonna see how that works because i do want the honey right we want the honey <laughs> i'm here for the honey <laughs> <laughs> so guys uh we appreciate y'all checking it out with us um don't forget to like share and subscribe make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified the next time we release a new video until next time y'all peace